Welcome, my name is Joy D. Fanny, astronaut of life, and this is Meditation Stories. In Meditation Stories, I interview different people who talk about their experiences with meditation. I think meditation is like a gateway to so many experiences and things, and I want to not just talk about my own experiences on this channel, but share what other people are experiencing and feeling all over the globe. So without further ado, here's the video. Hello. Hi. Tarshay, how are you? I don't, did I say that right again? No, I don't. Tarasai. Tarasai. <laughs> Tarasai. Yes, it's so beautiful. Tarasai, how are you today? I'm good, thank you. And yourself? <laughs> I'm doing awesome. Totally awesome today. It's been a sunny day here, which is very rare, actually. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Which it's summer where you're at, right? Yeah, we just started summer. So it's a nice sunny day. Going to the beach after just to chill. <laughs> just to chill. <laughs> Like it's yeah. no big deal. I love this. Chill and cleanse <laughs> in the sea. <laughs> <clears throat> yes. I just got back from the beach like a month ago. It is very cleansing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's my favorite, well, one of my favorite ways. Teresa, can you just tell me a little bit about yourself and for like our viewers and stuff? Um, <laughs> there's a lot to tell about myself. <laughs> Well, pick, pick some <laughs> shiny moments there too. Uh, okay, so my name is Tara Sai. Um, I was born in Zimbabwe, uh, southern of Africa, and I grew up in New Zealand. Um, I've been here about 21 years now. So yeah, I spent like majority of my life here. Um, I've been traveling. Um, I was a nomad for three years, 2015 to 2018, and then took a break, came home, tried to be normal. Wasn't for me, so I left again <laughs> for another year to explore. And then um, I was just kind of led back home, back to New Zealand, where I've just... Um, been trying to do this thing called life and walk in my purpose, um, which what, yeah, I was running away from that by traveling. Not really, but yeah. <laughs> well, it's, you're going on the journey of finding your purpose. Yeah, I'm a yeah. traveler myself, so I totally, totally get that. So yeah. do you know what your purpose is? Or yes, still, I do. Ooh, can you tell us? Um, I've known for a while, but like I said, I've just kind of been like running away from it. Um, so I'm really good with connecting people and just making people feel seen and heard and, um, just, you know, oozing of love and just sharing that with the world. Um, that's my purpose, just to share my love. So the way that I do that that it manifests in the 3D is um, I do events, event design and styling. Um, and we'd like do catering and just, you know, just wholesome, nice things, little gifts with like personalized love notes and stuff like that, just to feel pe make people feel, you know, nice and seen. And um, I also design spaces, so space design. Um, just to help people connect with them uh, with their spaces as well, because I am a strong believer in that your space has a lot to do with like your internal world. So whatever is going on internally will be like visible on the outside. So that's we try like to deep stuff. Yeah. So yeah, just, but you know. I totally <laughs> resonate with that. Yeah. Sometimes just rearranging a room will change the whole vibe of it. Yeah. It does. And yeah. like also like on a spiritual level for the woo-woos, like I transmute energy. Um, but I don't really <laughs> I haven't really told anyone that. I just yeah, because I do cleaning as well. So when I do space design and cleaning, 
that's like transmuting um, yeah. stagnant energy so that, you know, things start flowing again. So that's what I do with my work. So really, that's like what my purpose is. But in this world, I just tell people that I do events in space design and cleaning. <laughs> Oh, but that's such a beautiful purpose to just Thank you. be love and show love. Oh my gosh, I resonate so much with that. I love Thank that. You. Yeah. Okay, so where did you do this? Um, I'm gonna butcher this name again. The Pasana. No, that's not it. What is it? Yes. That the was Pasana. it. Well, the that's Pasana? what I say anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm learning from you, so. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies if I butcher it as well. <laughs> hey, we don't know. We're just here in our love, right? Yeah. So what is a Vipassana? Isn't that like in yoga where you like take a break and you just like, or that's Vinasana? It's something else, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. My bad, my bad. So... <laughs> Nothing to do with yoga. <laughs> nothing to do with yoga, nothing like that. Yeah. But the meditative part, I think, is the same. So what yeah. What to you is Vipassana, and what did you do on this retreat? And it sounds you said something magical happened, so I'm, like, really curious. Yeah. <laughs> um, so it was a 10-day silent retreat, um, no phones. No communication with anyone. Um, so you couldn't even talk to people there. No eye contact, nothing. Um, so even when you're eating, like you just by yourself. We're, we're all together, but you just by yourself in your head and um, meditate a lot of times a day. Um, some were group meditations and some were like you could do some in your rooms. You also had your own like personal space so no sharing rooms or anything so you were really like in your head <laughs> so it's just like a 10-day retreat where you just I guess just go within and just process everything that's and going what on. what made you want to do this retreat like what appealed um, to it about you <laughs> you or for you yeah, so I first heard about it from my sister and my friend. They did it prior to me um, a few years back. And when I heard about it, I just wanted to do it for clout. You know, I was just like, oh, that sounds cool. Like, let me do it. And then um, I applied for about two years or three. And I just couldn't get a space because it fills up really fast. Um, there's like an insane wait list sometimes. So for three years, I kept trying and trying and trying and it just didn't work. I guess I wasn't ready for it. Um, to be honest, at the time, I there was no way of knowing what I was getting myself into. <laughs> Even when I did it, I was just like, um, <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> so yeah, I wasn't ready. And then just one day, my sister just was like, oh, have you applied for Vipassana? lately I was like oh no I haven't she's like you should try again so I did and I got in so <laughs> I guess that was the universe telling me that I was ready and yeah I did it in end of November to mid-ish December uh 2019 2019 I think yeah and yeah that's how I got it I got in and that's what what appealed to me <laughs> well what happened when you did it like it to me that would be insanely intense so yeah what was the experience like um for me personally um before I did it I used to be such an external person um I just I kept hearing that, you know, everything you need is within and like, you know, listen to your heart, listen to the voice within. But then when I heard the voice within, I doubted myself, like it wasn't enough for me to, to like take action based on that alone. It just didn't make sense. So I used to like 
externalize a lot of things. And I always also used to be like very reactive. So like if someone said or did something that I wasn't happy about, like I wouldn't stop to think before I responded or just react straight away and like, you know, nothing but drama comes from that. So I was pretty miserable really um, to, a, to an extent. Like I had done some work at that point, but there were still things that were not aligned. So doing that for me, it just helped me reconnect with that voice within myself and just you know we became friends I guess that's when we started our relationship and that's when I really started listening to my intuition because when I traveled I started listening to my intuition I would, I would know when something wasn't right and stuff but then when I got back home it's kind of like I just put it on the back burner because I felt like I didn't need it anymore but you always need it so yeah we just that's when I'll relationship started really and it's been beautiful ever since like I've just learned to to be quiet and peaceful and not like take everything personally like honestly people project a lot and 99.9 of the things they say or do it's not about you there's something else underlying or they just want your energy so just learning when knowing when to give your energy, which people to give your energy to, like it's all taught me that. Obviously it's taken another two years from that <laughs> and I'm still learning, but yeah, it's it's been a journey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm learning the same lessons as well. So that's very synchronous. It's in sync for sure, <laughs> yeah. but was there any these are a lot of lessons to learn in 10 days yeah yeah was there like did you have a certain experience that um stood out among the others while you were doing this or was it all pretty much like this nice flow oh no it was not a nice flow. <laughs> okay more bobby roller coaster <laughs> far from a nice flow <laughs> You know, like day one, I was like excited, you know, I'm going to get enlightened. I'm just going to be so zen and like happy meditation, cool, cool. Day two, I was just like, I was ready to leave, but I had been dropped off and my house was so far away. And it's like in this remote place, you can't even catch public transport <laughs> if you wanted to leave. So day two, I was just like, nah. But like my hardest days were day two, day five or six, and the last day, like the last full day, it was just insane. Like I can't explain it, but I guess it was just my ego or whatever, just fighting because we we're just treading in this new unfamiliar territory of, you know, trusting the intuition when we should use logic <laughs> so that was yeah that was insane and like the lessons they didn't all come at the same time but it was just like a what do you call it um domino effect of like when yeah. you work on something and then you just it just comes up and up and up and up and it's just yeah that's the way it's been happening since then so how does meditation, does meditation play a role in your life now? Yeah, um, I meditate quite often now, um, especially before bed, um, because um, the work I do, like this whole transmuting energy <laughs> thing, like that energy has to go somewhere and it has to be disposed of. So like, Meditation helps me purge that energy. If I've like taken on energy that's not mine and stuff like that, it just helps me recall my energy and just release any other unnecessary energy in my body. So I use it for that. Um, and just also like I get anxiety sometimes when I get too overwhelmed. Um, and I used to get panic attacks before, but now I just meditate and yeah just being still with yourself you know it's it's good 
Totally. Yeah. I got into meditation as a way to assist with anxiety as well. So it is, yeah, it is a great practice for that. Was it hard for you to get into the practice of meditating every day before bed? How did you conquer yeah. that? Um, so after 10 days straight of meditating, I think I kept up with it for like one week after. <laughs> And then, yeah, I just started like going back to my old ways. But just these last two years with everything that's been happening in the world, you know, it's just a lot happening. So I just started meditating again. And I said it was like maybe one night a week. Um, I used to force myself like I'll be like, OK, I need to meditate. I need to do this. But then I just realized that. I don't need to do anything like just ask your body what do you feel like doing and if it's meditation cool meditating if it's bed go to sleep so when I started doing that I actually started meditating more I guess it was just me releasing that trying to be in control of everything exactly yeah. isn't that yeah. beautiful like it your is. energy <laughs> just shifted and then boop, there it is it's just happening yeah it's like a yeah. thing I do now. And if I don't do it one night, it's okay. I don't beat myself up about it. Just try again tomorrow. <laughs> well, I love that. That to me goes back to tapping into your intuition too. Like, yeah. To me, my intuition tells me, oh, Joy, you really need to meditate right now, or you need to do this mantra, or listen to this or that. Yeah. Um, just being in that flow where you're open to receiving it, no matter what form it comes in, mm -hmm. I think is beautiful, right? It is. It's so good. And like, life is so much easier. But you know, our human selves, they always want to be in control. <laughs> totally. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a constant battle. There'll be days where I've like conquered it. And then I'm like, oh yeah, I am like flying high. And then the next day, it's just like, I'm worried about everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Well, I'm getting, uh, I'm slowly getting fewer and fewer worry about everything days. And I'm hoping by the time I'm like an old lady and I'm sitting yeah. there all wise and stuff, like I'll just be so free. <laughs> You're already wise and free. Oh, yeah, so true, so true. All right, Tara Sai, thank you so much for sharing your story with us and, and talking with me today. I really appreciate it. No worries, and thank you for holding space and allowing me to speak my truth. This is the first time I've talked about this. And Aww. I wanted to like, talk about it for so long, but I just didn't know. Well, thank you, for, so thank you for that. Thank Thank, of course, you're welcome. Thank you. What an honor. Where can where can people find you if they want to follow you somewhere? Uh, you can online. find me on Venus by design. So Venus, the goddess of love by design. That's my ad on Instagram for some that. wholesome content. I love that. I love that. And I'll put the link in the description box as well for people. Oh, thank you very much. This was thank fun. You. This was so fun. We have to do this again for sure. Yes, please. <laughs> I have I have a lot of knowledge and stories. I've been around many lifetimes, so I know a few things. <laughs> Ooh, there's a rabbit hole to go down for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Ah. Oh, your energy is beautiful. I'm gonna I'm gonna go follow you on Instagram or just make sure that I am for sure. And once again, yes, thank I'll you so much. Back. Yes, thank you for thank you. for being here. And yes, we will talk soon. Thank you. Mm -hmm.